Happy Sunday, RDA family. It's a really weird Sunday for me. Three days ago, I bore my soul to the whole of Australia about the financial issues of RDA, and I've been uh, endlessly attacked for that. I'm going to talk about that. And secondly, I have my court case tomorrow, and the courtroom has changed last minute, the time has changed last minute. And I, 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 I'm really feeling nervous. Um, I've, I, haven't, I don't remember the last time I had this many butterflies in my stomach. Honestly, I, I'm not a nervous person, um, rarely. And I literally do not remember the last time I've been this nervous. Like I actually feel sick to my stomach. I was in church this morning and I just kept breathing deeply. And I don't know why um, I feel this nervous because um, I'm, usually, I'm really in touch with my, my feelings, my instincts and my gut, you know, and um, I just can't remember the last time I felt like this. And uh, I'm just so glad that people are coming to support me tomorrow because um, I just feel really nervous. I don't know why. Maybe it's a good nervous. Maybe something great's going to happen and uh, God's preparing me for that or maybe something bad's going to happen. I just don't know. I'm so, ugh, I feel so vulnerable right now and that's a new feeling for me because I feel like I'm always or at least uh, faking it to be in control um, but I don't feel in control uh, right now and so I'm just so glad that I'm not alone that my dad's going to be there my lawyer my uh, friends and family and um, yeah so that's tomorrow uh, it's now at 10 30 in courtroom number eight but we are meeting at eight o'clock um, at uh La Pinto Cafe around the corner from the Magistrate Court. But I also really want to talk about um, the video I made three days ago. Um, I want to admit one. Mis uh, I want to admit a mistake that I made. I think um, I think I over dramatized it a little bit with the heading RDA closing down question mark. Well, look, RDA the brand itself is never going to close down. You know, the social medias, the the database, the email, it's never going to go anywhere. I'm going to make sure we keep it a skeleton open at least. I should have said. RDA services closing down um, and we still don't know if that's going to happen not uh, yet or not um, but the reason I made the video was because I didn't want to just pull the services away last minute like suddenly and not give people a chance to explain how much they need those services I didn't want to do that without giving you a chance so that's why I asked the question do you need our services or not and I didn't mean to be insensitive to the living crisis um, obviously, if you don't have much money, you don't support a service that you don't need. You only support a service that you need if you have the money. Um, this, it's not, and that comment about my, about supporting me with your inheritance was it like, it's just because I, if, if, if I had some money and I believed in something, I would support it, but that's just me. And, but I didn't mean to be insensitive. So I, I do, pretend, I do regret using the word inheritance because it just sounds stupid. Um, but really what I was trying to establish is are RDA services needed anymore? And to be honest, it felt really, really vulnerable to put myself in that position because one, I was basically admitting that we've failed financially. But two, I, I'm actually questioning if the services that we have are needed. They were definitely two years ago. But maybe in the last year, I've just been pushing stuff uphill, trying to stay relevant and trying to um, help people when maybe they don't need our help anymore. And, and, and as a business owner and as a whatever, an influencer, whatever you want to call it, it was very hard to ask that question. Um, and of course, I've been attacked endlessly for it. And I understand why. Um, if you've never been helped by RDA before, if you've never called the 1800 number and gotten help straight away, if you've never had free legal advice from us or connected to a group from, because of RDA, or if you've never been to a, an RDA event, you would probably have seen that video and thought, how dare she ask for money when the living crisis is so bad? I get it. I totally get how you could see that. And some of the attacks from within the freedom movement were probably verified in that sense that they don't understand like what we have done in the past. But the thing is, is we had free legal advice for two years. We literally talked people out of suicide before. We have, we have done so many things for so many people and I'm not blowing smoke up myself here. The reason I'm saying that is because 
when you know the effort and the money and the time that goes behind getting these types of services happening, then you, you don't feel shamed by asking for donations because you know where the money's going. You know that you've got the, the, the development, the website is $2,000 a week development and the app and all this stuff. You know how much these things cost. So when you ask for support, you don't feel bad because in your head, you know where the money's going to go and you know that you're not doing anything nefarious with it. And you know that you get paid $500 a week and you work your butt off. So you don't feel, sh there's no shame in asking for help when you're doing really good things with the money. So from my perspective, because I know what I'm doing with the money and I know that I've never done the wrong thing by, by the support that I get, I just, it just comes out of my mouth very easily because I know. But if you don't know, I can totally understand how that sounded insensitive. So I'm sorry if it came across the wrong way. I, I, I am feeling very vulnerable and um, it's been a really hard couple of weeks for me to, to go through all of this. And already we've had uh, quite a few hundred answers from my, from my uh, question. And thank you to those people who uh, have supported so far because obviously we have helped you in some way or you think we can help someone else. So I really appreciate your support. And the, the question is still out there. We still don't exactly know what, what's gonna happen, but we're actually um, getting a full audit done at the moment. And I just wanna make sure that I'm uh, managing the donations properly. And we're gonna have a third party look into it all because to be honest, I'm not a CEO, I'm not a business person really. Um, I've been you know trying my best. Um, but it's not my strength. So I'm going to get someone whose strength it is to look out for that. Um, now, this is another thing I want to address is um, if RDA is going broke, how are you going overseas? Well, look, I'm going to, I don't justify myself very often because I don't feel like I should because I'm Monica Smith and RDA is RDA. They're two separate things. But uh, before COVID started, I was in real estate and I did really, really well. I actually bought an investment property and it was a big asset. I had profit in that asset. I sold that asset and I still have money left over. That's the money I'm using to go to Europe. And um, my trip to Europe is not just fun either. It's, 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 I'm, I'm building up community groups across Europe. You'll see that. But I'm willing to spend the rest of my savings on that. Uh, about a year ago, I said I was nearly out of savings because I was. And then I sold an asset so shock horror that I was successful before COVID and I have my own money. And not to mention, guys, I live with my parents. They support me a lot because they support what I'm doing. And my, my living expenses are very low because of that. And I'm not a lavish person, okay? I do like some wine now and again, and I do like going out for brunch sometimes, but I don't buy expensive clothes. I, I've had this jumper for like four years. I go to op shops. I take hand-me-downs. Like... I'm just not a lavish person, so that's how I still have money left over from when I worked before COVID. But look, I'm not going to justify myself too much, uh, but that's it. I'm going on a holiday because Monica Smith is going to Europe with her own money and she is allowed to do that. We're going to do a full audit of RDA. We're going to publish something so that you guys can all see it. And then that's it. But you know, it doesn't really matter what I say. People are still going to like hate and say stuff. So, but... I'm going to just say it once or twice just for the sake of it. But look, God knows and I know what I've done with the money and how much wages we've paid and how, how many things we've done with it. And people watching know as well. Um, they definitely know. But uh, if you don't know, then I can see that you think I'm a complete idiot. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to change your mind on that. So, But I, I did want to talk about how I'm feeling today and look, depending on what happens with RDA and the court case tomorrow, you know, I'm feeling, like I said, very vulnerable and I don't usually feel this way. I'm usually really got it, got it all sorted and um, I feel the vulnerability sort of taking over me a little bit and, um, you know, there might be some more real stuff coming out soon. But um, yeah, I'm just in this uh, holding pattern at the moment. I don't know what's going to happen. I've got butterflies. I feel sick to my stomach. But um it's all going to be okay and um, we're going to get through whatever. I mean, this is personal for me, really, what, what's going on, but um, I'm just so glad that I have people to support me, my family, my friends, and that people are coming tomorrow to the court case uh, because, I mean, I don't really know what the worst thing is that could happen, but I just do feel kind of weird. I feel weird. I can't explain it. So it is what it is, but uh, <laughs> this is a longer video than I usually make, but uh, that's because I'm feeling vulnerable, so I'm blabbing. And I'm going to go now. <laughs> See you guys.